In less than 13 hours, the Georgia Bulldogs are aiming to make history by going for a second straight championship title. The dogs facing off against TCU at Los Angeles's SoFi Stadium tonight. It's a game the entire country will be tuning in to watch. And we are getting you ready for the game tonight with some team coverage. We have Molly Oak at the airport here at home as Bulldogs fans head to LA for the big game. We're going to hear from Molly in just a little bit this half hour, but we're going to start with Jerry Carnes, who is all the way out in LA this morning for the game. Jerry, you have a look back at the very first matchup between these two teams. I indeed we do. You know, Georgia and TCU have met only a handful of times throughout history, and so far at least, Georgia has had TCU's number. On January 1st, 1942, that number was 21. A halfback on Georgia's team wore that number while leading the Bulldogs to an Orange Bowl victory over TCU, his first step toward becoming a Georgia Bulldog legend. There aren't many people who can talk about their grandfather with a genuine Heisman Trophy sitting behind them. You know, I'll be honest, every morning I wake up feeling very fortunate to share the name with a man like my grandfather. Meet Frank Sinkwich III, grandson of Georgia's first Heisman Trophy winner. On New Year's Day in 1942, Frank Sinkwich played a game that will live forever in Bulldog history, leading the team to a decisive victory in Georgia's first bowl game. It was a 40-26 win over Texas Christian University the very same TCU Georgia will play in this year's national championship game. Sinkwich ran for one touchdown and threw for three more. He was a fierce competitor, and he, he did not want to get beat. Um, I think it was more about him not wanting to get beat than him wanting to win. He was tough, tough as nails. So tough that he wore a special helmet designed to protect a broken jaw. I believe his, he broke his jaw the second game of the season, of, of, um, of that season and continued playing every other game. I think he actually ended up losing a tooth and really just thought it was a lost tooth until, you know, later on when he realized it was a bro broken jaw. 81 years later, Georgia faces TCU yet again in a game that will no doubt join Frank Sinkwich in the Bulldog history books. It's going to be a dynamic matchup between two dynamic uh, quarterbacks here. Um, I, I, you know, I'm predicting, selfishly predicting a Georgia win. Frank Sinkwich III and other Bulldog fans hope the spirit of a Georgia legend will be on the field as Georgia plays for another national championship. Now, Frank Sinkwich III wanted to be here, but he won't be inside SoFi Stadium tonight. He had another trip already planned, so he'll be watching on television from Aruba. Not a bad trip to make in replace of a trip here to Los Angeles. Obviously, he'll be rooting on the Bulldogs. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. He looks so much like his grandfather as well, Jerry. No one finds a good historic story like you. Awesome. Thank you so much.